DNA. It is such a rock star molecule, you know? It's in all the tabloids because, well, people gotta know. It is that molecule that determines so much about who we are and what we do. Small things like whether we're left-handed, not, and big things too, like what parts we're equipped with and how we're likely to behave. So what about DNA gives it its power? Short answer, it's structure. First of all, it's a really long molecule. So if a DNA molecule were this wide, how long would it be? Well, this doesn't even come close. This is closer, but still, not even in the ballpark. If DNA is as wide as toilet paper, well then each cell in your body would contain about 100,000 kilometers of it. That's like from New York to LA and back 10 times. Now actual size, in every cell you've got about this much DNA, like two meters of it in every cell, and it's all wound and packed and jammed into an organelle called a nucleus. Structurally, it's not that complicated. I mean, especially for a rock star molecule. Start with the name, DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. This is a reference to where you find it, in the nucleus. And chemically, it acts like an acid. So, nucleic acid. This part refers to a sugar molecule called ribose. It looks like this. And oxygen here, and carbon atoms at each one of these corners, plus another carbon atom there, and OH, or hydroxyl groups, here, 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 and there. So this is ribose. And to make deoxyribose, you just remove an oxygen. Deoxyribose. But you know what? This isn't exactly a two meter long molecule, right? But you string about 200 million of them together, and it begins to add up. So, add some shrubbery right here. Call it a base, no need to worry about the details. And add some shrubbery over here, too. A phosphate group. Again, don't worry about the details. And what you have here, phosphate group, sugar, base, is the monomer subunit of DNA. Sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar with the bases sticking out here, makes sort of a half a ladder. So if you put another sugar phosphate chain on the other side, and you connect the bases together, and you twist that into a double helix, what you get is DNA.